We have intensively covered in previous videos Mohammed bin Salman's insane net worth and incomprehensible luxury lifestyle. However, we have recently been asked by some viewers about his wife or wives to be exact since he has three. So we did some digging, turned some rocks and asked around. And here is what we have found. And it is quite shocking. Honestly, it was quite hard to get some actual accurate data because the Arabs and Muslims in general are family oriented and very protective of their wives and children. And when it comes to royals, it's like hands, eyes and brain off the merchandise or else kind of deal. So we do not want to mess with MBS since he is quite cool, gave Saudi women positions in high places and executive corporate positions and transformed the country into a luxury fun paradise that is full of insane mega projects. First of all, MBS has been married three times and as far as we are aware all three wives are still his wives. So he did not divorce any of them, which is perfectly fine in the Islamic world even though it is quite uncommon since it is expensive to maintain three homes and the husband has to treat them equally and provide, 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 which is sort impossible these days. And you know, they could gang up on him and give him a stroke. And of course, since he is MBS and has access to a few trillion dollars, every time one of his wives buys a castle or mansion or small country, he has to get the other two the same, which even for an ultra rich royal is still expensive. Anyway, we know that he can afford it. We forgot to mention that all of his wives are from the House of Saud, which is a 15,000 member family that has been in charge of Saudi Arabia for a couple thousand years, give or take a few hundred. They were even once removed as rulers for a few hundred years during the Ottoman Empire era, but managed to reclaim their status after World War I. So where were we? Oh yes, all three of his wives are from the royal family. So they are princesses, and from the rather high-ranking branches of the Saud family and thus were quite rich before they married MBS. Anyway, he also has a bunch of children. We think about 15 in total including two that are not his and came from his current favorite wife Sara who was married to another Saudi royal before she met MBS and got a divorce. All right, let's dive into the world of Princess Sara Saud, MBS's favorite wife. We said favorite, because he seems to fund her insane super expensive charities and mega projects. But that might also be because the other two prefer to live in luxury and let someone do the heavy lifting well. With the kind of wealth and luxury they enjoy, we cannot blame them. The princess, net worth, and the palace. Princess Sarah is a very proactive philanthropist and has quite an interesting history. Before she got married to MBS in 2008, that's seven years before he became crown prince, she was married to another prince but they did not get along and got a divorce. Then her mother passed away and she was entitled to a few hundred million dollars in heritage but could not get her hand on most of the money and a small family war ensued. It was actually more like a drama, not an actual war. Soon she called it a day after she felt unsafe and decided in 2007 to take her two daughters on her 50 million dollars private jet and apply for asylum in the United Kingdom, which created a small international incident because she was a royal. Anyway, she was not excommunicated by her family, nor the House of Sword, and was allowed to keep living in the UK, and even received her share of the inheritance while in the UK. It was a handsome sum. In 2008, Mohammed bin Salman met her there, and the two got along just fine and soon were married, and went on to have three children. He even helped her get British citizenship, which was not hard, since she had a few million pounds to spare and owned a nice mansion there. Today, she is literally the richest and most powerful woman in Saudi Arabia and perhaps the whole Arab world. We did hear rumors that her net worth was somewhere around $400 million before meeting MBS. As for her current net worth, well, how many oil barrels can you count every day? Go ahead then and multiply that by all the remaining days of her life. So we are talking tens of billions. She is quite charitable too, and has been spending billions on mostly Saudi charities and NGOs. She helped send the first Arab woman to space. Princess Sarah is also a very hardcore advocate of equality. Just recently, the first Saudi woman, Rayana Banawi, arrived at the International Space Station. What many people do not know, this immense milestone was possible due to intensive efforts by Princess Sarah, who spent the past 15 years 
encouraging female Saudi college girls to branch into sciences and reach for the sky. She even partially funded part of the space mission, which included shuttling the astronauts aboard a SpaceX Falcon rocket. Of course, the princess avoided the attention and drama since she discreetly does most of her work. Rayana Banawi is a 34-year-old biomedical scientist and will carry out stem cell and breast cancer research during the mission. She is also a good friend of Princess Sarah and worked with her on various projects. Good for you Saudi Arabia, keep it up. Princess Sarah has recently got into the mega projects thing which her husband MBS is quite notorious for. She recently announced the establishment of a multi-billion dollar futuristic science and technology center called Ilmi which means my knowledge in Arabic. The new center will be twice as big as New York's famed Museum of Modern Art. The construction of this impressive center is already underway and the opening date is mid-2025. The engineering plans show that the structure and nature of this facility will be quite opulent and sustainable. It is aimed to embody creativity and sustainability through integration with its natural surroundings, extensive landscaping, and the use of natural light. Sounds like out-of-the-box thinking. It will also boast three permanent exhibits that are based around three core themes. Our world, ourselves, and our inventions, and will focus on subjects including space, ecosystems, and artificial intelligence. Way to go, Sarah. We cannot wait to hear about your next mega project because we are starting to get bored of your husband's giga projects. Princess Sarah's $350 million mansion in France. You are probably now wondering which of the many palaces, mansions, and castles that Sarah and MBS own around the world is her favorite residence. If you watched some of our previous videos, you would have probably easily guessed this one. It is the one and only most expensive home in the world, the French Chateau Louis XIV, which boasts a nightclub, aquarium, two ballrooms, a wine cellar, and a cinema room among the many other endless luxury amenities. The genius property sprawls 50,000 square feet and is located in Louvichins near Versailles. Built between 2008 and 2011, the sumptuous home is modeled on 17th century French castles. It contains 10 massive bedroom suites, a library, a private squash court, a cinema room. One of its most impressive features is an aquarium inside a meditation room. It is also a very smart home and the princess can control the entire structure with her gold-plated diamond-dressed iPhone. The interior of this dream mansion is decorated with only authentic expensive fine art. The staircases are covered in gold. The floors are made from the most expensive Italian marble money can buy and a huge reception room with a 52-foot high painted dome ceiling. Outside, the gardens are kept in pristine condition and include a marble statue of Louis XIV. As for the garage, it is full of European supercars such as Ferrari, Lamborghini, Aston Martin, McLaren, and a couple of gold-plated American Cadillac Escalades. As for travel, well, the princess has a dedicated private Airbus jumbo jet with an indescribable luxury interior. The plane is also equipped with an anti-missile defense system, including a military-grade radar. Got to keep the family safe. We would like to take you for a tour of Princess Sarah's other mansions and palaces that will only blow your mind, not to mention the $500 million serene yacht. However, that would take forever, but we did cover them all in detail in previous videos, so feel free to check them out. That was the story of Princess Sarah Sword, or just part of it to be honest, because we are sure that she will drop some major headlines in the near future that will certainly include some expensive luxury purchases, mega projects, and everything else that one can buy with the highest top dollar possible. So make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, because we will be making more videos about these future stories.